Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about classification of atrial fibrillation. So what is atrial fibrillation? Atrial fibrillation basically occurs because of abnormal atrial contraction. So there is some ectopic foci, like some part of the atrium is damaged or which acts as an ectopic foci from which the depolarization is occurring, which is not coordinated with the other part of the atrium. So that's why it leads to uh, sudden contractions of the atrium uh, but the atria is just flutters. It doesn't contract properly. It just keeps uh, only superficial. It keeps contracting. So because of that, what happens is that there is an increase in heart rate. And also because the atria is not able to contract properly or not able to empty properly, there are more chances of clots formation. So it's a supraventricular tachyarrhythmia. Why it is called supraventricular tachyarrhythmia? Because the defect is above the level of ventricle. It is called a supraventricular tachyarrhythmia. And there is uncoordinated atrial activity. So it is contracting, but there is no coordination. So that's why the blood doesn't empty properly into the ventricle and keeps stasis inside it. And thus more chances of clots. And which leads to irregularly irregular ventricular responses. So if your AV node is conducting normally, all these abnormal atrial rhythm will be again connected to the ventricle. So because of that, even ventricles will not be able to contract properly and there will be irregular contraction. So on examination, you may find an irregularly irregular pulse. This is an example of an uh, ECG showing AF, where you can see this is QRS. The distance between the two RR interval, that is two QRS, is not same. It keeps varying. So here it is a little bit larger, like around 10 to 11 small squares are there. Here more than that, around 13. Here only around 8 to 9. So it keeps varying. So you can see RR interval is varying. And that's, it's called as irregular uh, or what is irregular, irregular pulse. So to know how to calculate heart rate in case of atrial fibrillation, you can go to my video on calculating heart rate in ECG. So now coming to the main topic, what are the classification of atrial fibrillation? So atrial fibrillation is divided into four types based on its duration. One is paroxysmal, second is persistent, third is long standing and fourth is permanent. So what is in the paroxysmal? So name itself denies paroxysmal is anything which is short lasting or which terminates on its own. So if you, without intervene also, there are high chances of terminating into own. So self terminating and in usually the uh, AF, if it is paroxysmal, will per, uh, get subsided within 48 hours. Some AF paroxysms may continue for up to seven days. Usually paroxysmal AF, the usual definition is any AF which is persisting for less than seven days or uh, which is com uh, becoming converting into normal sinus system within seven days is called paroxysmal AF. Also, the AF episode that has been cardioverted within seven days will also be included under paroxysmal AF. Next, persistent AF. So AF which is continuing for more than seven days. So less than seven days is paroxysmal. More than seven days persistent is called as persistent AF. Also, any AF which has been uh, reverted back to normal sinus system by cardioversion after seven days of onset of AF, that will also come under persistent AF. Now, what is long-standing AF? Is any atrial fibrillation which is continuing for more than one year in duration is called as long-standing AF. And permanent AF, permanent AF is that is the final stage of the uh, of the atrial fibrillation. In that patient, uh, the rhythm cannot be reverted back to normal despite of all efforts. So what they have done is even if the cardioversion or shock also, the rhythm cannot be changed to normal. And then it is called as permanent AF. That is so that AF, that rhythm is his permanent or final rhythm. Sinus system cannot be restored or maintained in this patient. So its decision mainly depends upon the patient and physician and further attempts should not be tried in this patient. Hope you have liked my videos. If you have any comment uh, on this topic, do do it in my comment box. If you want me to tell any other topic, do let me know. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akif Big. We'll be talking about more uh, topics of atrial fibrillation, the management, the diagnosis, the uh, guidelines and everything. So keep in touch with my channel. Thank you.